on guys this is boot trampling boom beat so guys i'm just truly excited to present this to you a task force earth my task force were able to take on the dead end operation with only 14 attacks and that is world record that's world record it is just truly insane so check this out 14 attacks and 20 sabotages and completed it with 1250 task force points and we're gonna be checking out all of the attacks and the first attacker is Yavu so let's jump over to Yavu's attack and let's check out what actually happened here so his main mission here was to take down the rocket launchers, those three rocket launchers at the start there. But before he went to the rocket launchers, he actually went for the machine gun. And that was the perfect call, because uh, if, you're, if you're standing close to the... Imagine it, guys. If you're on the rocket launcher right now, the machine gun will like bam, 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 bam you. It will like take you down. It will go down on you, guys. It will go down on you. It will be your biggest disaster if you do not think about the machine gun so it was a really really great attack by Yavu so we're gonna be checking out the second attack here so let's jump back to the log and let's scroll down what is the next attack here so the next attacker is actually smiley smiley is attacking complex here and uh, he was basically using uh, Rifleman and Zookas, check out the smoke screen. It was almost perfect, but it, but he lost some of the rifleman there, but it really didn't matter because uh he was doing a great job here. So check this out. He's relocating his Zookas to this to the shock launchers and he's finishing off the rest of the rocket launcher that is a really big threat. And this is already great. He's taking care of the mortars as well. Look at this, look at this, totally awesome. And he's also taking out the flamethrower on the left side, but sadly the flamethrower is burning some of the Zookas and kill them. And I was really kidding the Zookas to the power core or the HQ, but there's sniper tower on the right side there. And what's gonna be happening here is yeah, that, that that is like the sniper tower is gonna be eating the Zookas one by one, so he didn't have enough power to take down the core. But, anyways, really great attack from Smiley, and we're gonna be checking out the third attack. So let's scroll down, let's scroll down, and the third attacker is Flasho. Flasho attacking complex with warriors here. And let's see what happens. Or this is Mac Mac Machina. I think there's something wrong with the log here, but this is Machina, and he was attacking it with warriors. So uh, on this map, the problem here was actually that the power core of the HQ was really far behind there, and that is really a true true challenge it's a really hard challenge because you need a lot of gunboat energy to reach it and uh, his mission here was of course taking out the rocket launchers because the rocket launchers and the shock launchers is the most deadliest uh, defensive buildings on the uh, operations and he did it he took down the three rocket launchers and some of the cannons already the second cannon just went down and sadly the rocket launcher was taking down his warriors but he did a really great job here flasho did really a great job here so let's check out the log we're gonna be scrolling we're gonna be checking out all of the tax because I'm just super excited to show this to you guys and I want to say thank you to uh, Earth, my task force, for uh, for um, uh, allowing me to share this with you guys. Because we're actually having this confidential. It's actually secret on what our strategy is. But it's really awesome from the leader on Earth to uh, say that you can share this. So this uh, this attack was made by me. Uh, complex. I took down the complex. Uh, the, the power core was were all uh, already uh, uh, already taken down or not taken down. Damaged a lot. So it's re was really really a easy attack for me. So we're gonna be jumping over to the next attack. The next attack is kinetic attacking blast or Waterloo there's something really wrong with the log here so he's attacking Waterloo and check out this base it really looks easy the base looks really really easy but keep in mind guys the defensive buildings have a lot of help and uh, that is the reason why that is really really hard um, the everything have a lot of uh, health you need to have per perfect position on your troop to not get hit by some of the defensive buildings and the rocket launcher of course are doing major damage against your troops so his mission here was to take down the rocket launcher and the second rocket launcher just went down. He's controlling his heavies and Zooka's really really good here. He's per, uh, placing smoke screen really good here as well. All of the rocket launcher now are targeting the heavies and this is just great. He was shocking the rocket launcher here. Check this out. He's already taken out two rocket launchers. Now the third one and he's going to be taking down the fourth one. And this is just great to shock the rocket launcher on the south side there. 
and wow really great attack i think that um this is one of the best attacks uh right now from what we've seen on the attacks really great control on the heavy and azukas so we're gonna be checking out the next attack here and it's made by general custer general cast custer attacking blast again or not is, is this blast yes it's blast so his mission here was to deploy the units from the left side, attacking, uh, attacking, uh, no, it was not left side, he went straight ahead actually, this is an old Zook raid, and the problem with using old Zook here is you really need to control your troops really, really good here, because one rocket launcher can be really deadly against this group, so he did a really great job here uh, to uh, place and relocate his Zookas to perfect places. He's not getting hit by anything right now. Um, when it, we're getting close to the power core, the uh, sadly the, the boom cannons will do some major damage to the Zookas. Uh, he placed over Zookas to the uh, cannons because he's taking out some of the cannons. And from what you see here, he did a really great job. Um, he made it actually up to the power core and cleared up some of the boom cannons and that is really really great so perfect general custer okay let's check out the next attacker he's the next attacker okay we have like amit amit is the next attacker attacking um uh, is this okay, titanic is attacking a titanic and uh he's using heavy zookas here there's a lot of heavy zuki users on our task force uh heavy zookas are really really great and dead in operation warriors are also great as well but you really need to see what you're going to be meeting or what you're going to be facing what kind of uh, placement you have in the base you basically need to use your head when you're going to be attacking operations so okay uh, he was able to clear out some of the objects uh, surrounding the HQ. It was a decent attack by Amit, and we're gonna be checking out the next attack here. So, who's the next attack? Next attacker is Scott. He's using warriors here. Um, let's see uh, what kind of bases. So, okay, he was attacking assembly here. Um, okay, we had, that is this is also a, a base that is really hard because uh, the base is uh, um, basically uh, hugging the uh, the wall here on the right side and it's really hard to get up there because you have the rocket launchers bugging your uh, troops so his mission here was actually to take down the, sh the, sh the rocket launchers and there we go we have both of the shock launchers down and the warriors are working on the power core but sadly there was just too many boom cannons and the boom cannons were just blasting all of those warriors so who's the next attacker i'm just super excited to show this guys so you have another takedown here uh the second takedown was was made by ryoskis and uh, let's see what happens so we see he was using warriors on assembly um i really didn't think it was going to be possible to take it down because there were like shock launchers and uh, boom cannons surrounding the uh, power core there but check this out fully pumped up warriors is working down the power core just pumping the hammer on the power core and it went boom assembly just went down second base just went down guys truly awesome truly awesome so we're gonna be checking out the next attack. Next attack, guys. Okay, who's the next attacker here? Okay, we have another takedown as well. Um, it's made by Yam. It's a purple badger. Uh, it's the uh, it's the rank one in the world that has been holding the rank one position for the longest time, and that is truly awesome. So big shout out to Yam. Really awesome work on getting the purple badge and uh, doing some great attacks on the task force. So okay, check out this this Zookas is actually loving use. He loves to use all Zookas. I I'm really afraid of using this because if I do one mistake, it's gonna totally go boom, guys. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be it's gonna be waste. So check this out. Yam is controlling the Zookas really great here and. Check this out. Wow. Monster damage is just going on right now. He's pumping down the power core. The Zookas are blasting a lot of damage. And there we go. Blast just went down. Yam Purple Badger took it down. So I think we have another takedown as well. Um, I think it's... Yes. It's okay, babe. He's using... Um, or I think... Yes, this... It's okay, big babe. It's a girl. It's a girl in a task force, and she loves using uh, heavy and zookas as well. 
truly awesome. She, she's uh, she's doing great on the task forces. Um, she's uh, really good to communicate with our task force members, and that is the key, guys, on uh, on getting a great task force. You really need a great team that can communicate together. Because if you do random attacks, it's gonna be fail. It's gonna be fail. So let's check out what happened here on the Waterloo. So okay, she, she was attacking from the north side there and shocked the mortar. That was a really great call there. And there we go. That is just perfect. Shocking the boom cannons as well. And now it's time to work down the power core. The power core just went boom waterloo just went down awesome tag by my by uh it's okay babe truly awesome so i think we're getting super close to the end guys and we have the next attacker here odj999 and um this is a new task force member task force member on our task force and let's see what uh how how we do uh do it in this uh operation base so okay he was taking actually the free objects on the right side there to gather a lot of gunboat energy. Let's see what happens here. Okay, smoke screen there and it's taking down the cannon. Great. It's really, it's going great here. And there's actually a, a, a rock, two rocket launcher on the south side there that is really, really scary. He needs to take them out because it, it can be a really great threat to this kind of team. Okay, he's taking his uh, team back and uh, he's going to be gathering more gunboat energy from this free power cells. So look, look at this guys, he's farming, he's taking down all of the power cells to get some more energy and shocking the machine guns, taking out the machine guns, really great job here. Wow, come on, let's see what happens here. Taking down this, the uh, last machine gun there, relocating his uh, troops, but I really think that this is going to be pretty much the end. So really great atta attack by ODJ, um, we're going to be checking out the next attack here and it, it's by J. WWW, his name is Jay, and he's gonna be taking down Titanic. It's a former rank one as well, so he's gonna be using heavy Zookas on this raid. So let's see what happens here. So he's relocating his heavies and Zookas to the free objects to get more gunboat energy, and that is really, really great because you need a lot of uh, gunboat energy to shock those uh, rock launchers behind there. I definitely see that. He ha he's on the shock already. He's rushing the power core. That is really, really scary. He's shooting with his Zookas, doing some power blasts, and come on, yo, come on, yo. And yes, he took it down. He took it down. Jay did an awesome attacker. That was like adrenaline pumping. I, my heart was like beating so fast. It was like fishy, fishy beats, guys. Fishy beats. And the last attack is by Ease. This is our leader, uh, former rank one tree badger. Uh, truly awesome. Truly awesome guy. Uh, do respect uh, Ease because his, um, his, uh, how do you call it? He's sorting out the team every day, and he's he's, he's using a lot of time on uh, um, on making people to attack the the right targets. And great job, he's really great job, and he's working down this power core machina with warriors. And we were actually really scary here. We were, we were really scared because uh, we were thinking like, okay, the boom cannons on the left side they will take down the warriors, and you will not have enough DPS. But look at this, guys. The warriors are pumping a lot of damage. Look at this, Machina went down 14 attacks on Dead End, Operation Dead End. That is world record and it's truly awesome that I could share this with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because um, I'm coming a lot more with this kind of video. So see you guys there, stay tuned. Earth is coming with Task Force Attack. See you guys there and goodbye. Boom.